so here comes some visualization best practices. Uh, so number one, do not use pie charts. So the, it is the same reason as do not use the 3D visualizations. Uh, so people tend to underestimate the values that are represented on those pie charts and also on those 3D visualizations. So try to use a bar chart instead. Okay, so do not use pie chart. Um, and also try to use the appropriate visualizations that to uh, for your story or for your objective. So for example, if you want to show the relative proportions and also proportion to the whole, so the tree map uh, might be a, a, a good choice. If you want to show the relationship, as I said, scat plot is a, is a good choice. Okay, so use the right visualization for the right answer or the, for the right question that you are trying to answer, explore. And also pay attention to the orientation. Okay, um, so sometimes when you create visualizations and they will just give you a, a visualization that's automatically created, created. and uh, when people look at those labels, okay, so it's very hard to, for them to view the information. So pay attention to the orientation so that in this case, if you put the label on the left, you see that is very easier for human for people to understand your visualization. Okay. And sometimes we can also create maps. Okay, so map is also another great way to create to visualize your data. So uh, right now, uh, in many BI tools like QuickSight or Tableau, so they all support creating maps. So if you want to visualize one visual, one variables, and you can use these field maps. Uh, if you want to compare the multiple variables, and uh, you can use um, this proportional symbol map. So here, for, for example, you can use the uh, colors and also size to represent multiple variables on a single map. And uh, also, you, you may consider combine multiple visualizations together to create a dashboard. OK, so dashboard is a visualization that normally contain multiple uh, single visualization, single charts. For example, here we have a map, a bar chart, and also another bar chart. Okay, so all, all those uh, charts together can create um, a better um, story so that try to combine multiple visualizations together to create a dashboard. Uh, so there are some tips that uh, for dashboard. So you, your dashboard should be as clear as possible and should pass the five second test. So the five second test means that um, any single person that when they view your dashboard, they should be able to understand the story within five seconds. Okay, uh, so to pass the five second test, uh, we should put the most important views to the top or the top left. Okay, uh, so if we divide our visualizations into four regions, this one people tend to give the highest priority. So we normally view this part the first. Okay, so this is the most important region that in your on your dashboard. So you should put your the most important part of the views, titles, etc. go there. Your legend should go near to the views. So if you are using different colors or different sizes, you should provide legend. And also legend should close to your views. So for example, this map using different colors and you should provide a legend and the legend should go to close to the views. So you don't want to put your legend here and also put your map here. Try to avoid using multiple colors schemas on a single dashboard. 
So for example, if you are talking about the same type of information, um, so for the for each object, for the same object, you should give the same color. Okay. So for example, uh, for these orange ones, so if they are talking about a same location, and on, on the other views, the orange one, the, this orange should represent the exact location on all the other views. Okay. And provide less than five views. Okay, so do not add too many charts on a single dashboard. So normally no more than five views. And provide interactivity. So that is very, very important. So nowadays we are viewing dashboard on our cell phones, tablets, or computers. So it is very rare that we will not still print out those dashboards. So we are viewing those one in, on different digital devices so that we can, we can click those symbols on those dashboard. And if you see, if you enable filters, so let's say when I click this one and all the other views just show this, uh, show the data about this orange one. Okay, so that will help users to explore your dashboard. So always provide interactivity. Okay. And also don't forget to give a good title. So a good title can immediately tell story that what uh, can tell the audience that what I'm looking at. Okay. And also some questions that before uh, when, when you create a dashboard. So what is the problems or questions on do you want to resolve or do you want to answer? So you need to have a topic of your dashboard. And is that really the best way to display this information? So are you using the right chart type of a, a chart or graphs in your uh, visualizations? And does everything add value? Okay, so you should use as less as possible visualizations in your dashboard uh, and also in any of your type of visualizations. So your visualization should be complete when you cannot delete anything. Okay, when you cannot delete anything. Okay, so use as less element as possible. So um, there's a <laughs> principle called keys. Okay, so keep it simple. Okay, keep it simple and and also don't forget to add in interactivities and also with clear labels. Okay, so labels are also important, like orientation of the labels. Are the label easy to view? So do you have the, the appropriate sound or size of those labels? Uh, Etc. So those are some things that you should consider uh, when you design your dashboard. So let's look at one example. So this is an example that is is so it's not a good visualization. So try to ask yourself. So what problem or question does this one uh, to resolve? Okay. So can you understand this visualization in five seconds? Okay. Are there any clear labels, etc.? Okay. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, problems. So the title is not clear. Okay, so what does sentiment analysis mean? And they are using pie chart. Okay, pie chart should not be used. And it is also very confusing sometimes. Okay, so it's hard to compare those values. Uh, so this is an improved one. Okay. So we have very clear title. So it is talking about Facebook election. Uh, we are using a bar charts for clear comparison. Okay. So you can see when we you convert that into bar chart, it's very easy to see uh, who are the winners. And labels is more clear. So we train more than less, train more with less. And we also sort the bars. Okay, 
so that the, the audience do not need to compare the result. We sort the result for them so that can save the time for the audience. Okay, so this is an improved uh, dashboard.